As the mayor declares the city out of room for new arrivals, some are stepping up. A building owner in Pilsen offered his commercial building as a place for families to stay instead of police station floors. 70 people, including families with young children, were brought to his building yesterday. Now the, now the social services are kicking in and it's helping out, but I mean, the lack of coordination from the, from the Fed to the state, from that state to our city is ridiculous. Doug Wynn offered his building after Alderman Sincho Lopez got reports that migrants were being turned away from the 12th District Police Station because the lobby was full. The city still uh, has, did not provide any alternatives and they were going to be bused yet again to another police station. So at that point, you know, we reached out to our communities. We're really thankful for the kindness and generosity of, you know, the community. Yesterday, Mayor Lightfoot declared a state of emergency with shelters full across the city. Also yesterday, a city council committee approved $51 million for migrants' assistance and goes to full council later this month. Alderman Pat Dowell chairs the Committee on Budget and Governmental Affairs. It clearly is not enough money to address the crises that we have going on in the city right now. We're getting between 100 to 150 new migrants a day. Dowell says she is troubled to see the situation and wants to see more help from the federal government and corporations. Dowell says as of yesterday, 450 people were staying in the lobbies of Chicago police stations. To sleep on a floor in a police station is uh, inhumane, and we have to treat people the way we want to be treated. Dow says they are starting a supply drive in the ward to help the new arrivals as well as Chicagoans who are struggling. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.